Hi there, and welcome to my tutorial on how to do Cinderella's hair. So the first thing I need to do is take my hair down. Um, I'm starting with dry hair. Uh, I washed it yesterday. Um, I'm just giving it a good brush, and then I'm going to brush my hair to the back, because the first thing you're going to do is um, separate out a section for her bangs. You can see I give it a good bit of spritz with water just to help with the parting. So I brush it to the back, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate out a section of just the front hair. Um, I'm using a bobby pin, I advise a comb, but like you might have seen in my bell video, I cannot find my comb. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I part from either side, and then pull the hair forward, and then I'm just neatening up that section. So it's just a good square section of hair. Um, if you have your own bangs, you can either separate out some more hair, or just use your own bangs. Um, kind of whatever works for you. I don't have bangs, so I'm going to have to fake them. I'm just kind of neatening up that section, making sure it's a good square. And then I'm just going to twist it and um, alligator clip it out of the way, because the first thing I'm going to do is her twist. So I'm just kind of putting the bangs aside for now. So then the next thing I'm going to do is um, just kind of fluff my hair out, and then I'm going to start curling it. Um, I'm cur I curl it not quite all the way to the roots, um, but certainly a good w uh, way up the hair. So once you've got all your hair curled, the next thing you're going to do is start working on the twist. There are some really great um, tutorials on how to do a standard French twist. Um, because my fingers tend to get in the way of this video, you might want to go check some of those out if you've never done a French twist before. Um, but basically what you do is you, uh, you brush your hair over to one side. And what you'll see I'm do is I actually tip my head forward and I'm brushing it up as well so that the French twist is much closer to the top of my head than the, the nape of my neck. But you want to brush it all the way over to one side um, and then create a bobby pin structure on the center of your head. And to do this, you, uh, you place bobby pins um, crisscross over one another. So again, you can see I'm <laughs> not terribly good about showing you what I'm doing. Um, I am using really long bobby pins um, just to help uh, have a better structure and because I have a lot of hair. Um, so here you go. You might be able to see it a bit better. So yeah, I'm sliding a bobby pin in towards the uh, towards the right side and then towards the left over it. So you just create this nice crisscross structure, and that's what you're gonna um, cement your twist into later. And again, you can see I'm I'm making sure to keep it higher up on my head because you really want to have as much of um, the rest of your hair left to make her curls with the little curls than the fluff that sits on top of her head. Now, one thing I could have done is um, kind of ratted the hair on the sides of my head a bit more so you get that fluffier structure. Um, because my hair is not terribly long, I wasn't sure I'd have enough hair to do that. So then when you're ready, all you're gonna do is do a French twist by pulling your hair across back to the other side. Um, you can see I'm giving it a good brush. Again, you could I could have ratted it so I'd have a bit more volume. Um, but mostly I just wanted big curls, so I didn't really worry about the sides as much. So you twist the hair all the way up, pulling your curls to the top of your head. And then to lock that French twist in place, you just work some bobby pins in. Um, you'll see I, uh, I grab the bobby pin, and um, I think I'll slow down the bin in a sec. There we go. And tuck it back over inside the twist. I don't know if that was coherent. <laughs> so, yeah, basically uh, you stick bob the bobby pin in one way and then twist it back into the structure underneath. And that'll lock your French twist in place. Again, there are some really wonderful detailed French twist video tutorials out there. Um, I'll throw a link up to one of my favorites in the comments because I'm just not terribly good at showing you what I'm doing. Um, so the next part you're going to do is do her, uh, her curls. You can just leave them as the fluffy little curls if that's what you want, but you see I'm going to do the, the three bump curl by kind of doing um, almost a victory roll kind of thing. Again, I didn't duck low enough for the camera, um, but here you'll at least see the way I'm sticking the bobby pin in once I've created the roll, and then I'll show you, uh, show you a roll in just a second. You really want to hide the bobby pin so you can't see them, so you'll see I'm tucking them in the bottom and back of the roll. Um, 
So I've separated the hair into three sections. You can see I'm playing with the middle section right now. Um, but then I'm going to go back and do um, the, the left side. So I did the right side bump, and now I'm doing the left side bump. Um, and this way, the t middle and top one will be able to sit on top of them and be a little bit higher. So basically, I just kind of followed, um, followed the curl structure and just created a, a, a nice little roll, um, rolling the hair under. And then I'm pinning that into place. Sorry, I really did not duck low enough for you to see much of this. Um, so now I'm working with the top one, and I, I duck a little bit to help. But again, so I'm rolling rolling uh, the hair in just a nice little bump curl, um, and then just bobby pinning that into place at the bottom and, um, and back. And again, I did the middle one last so that it sits just a little bit higher than the side two. Um, and now I'm just kind of fluffing it, making sure it looks the way I want it to. Making sure they're even. And that's kind of how you create that, that triple bump that she's got going. And again, what you'll see, um, and I think some of the face characters and other people's different cosplays, what you can do is just do little tight spirals and have those sit kind of, um, like I love Lucy style on top, but I really wanted to do like the cartoon. So there you go, the triple bump, and I'm going to go fetch some hairspray. So now I'm just kind of spraying that all into place. And making sure it's neat before getting to work on the bangs. So here you go, you get a little quick 360, if I would just duck. There we go. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. All the way around. Looking good. I did try to cover my ears just a little bit, because that's kind of what she does, but... It didn't quite work. So all right, here's the really tricky part, the banks. Um, what you'll see I'm doing first is I'm going to curl them under and then try to create the bang roll um, curling under very much like you did the top, the top curls. Um, unfortunately, my hair was not behaving. So this doesn't work in the long run for me. But um, I have done it before, and, um, and it, it can work. It's just really hard to... Um, to bobby pin it well so that it doesn't kind of crumple back over. Um, so again, you can see once I've curled the bangs under, I'm then using my fingers to curl them into a nice little roll shape, just like you did the top curls. Um, and you'll see I get one side to do it, but in the long run, my hair just would not behave and I couldn't get the curls to stick. I do like curling them under though, because it makes it more like an actual bang and looks a lot more like her actual hair. Um, but unfortunately, I just couldn't get it to work. So um, so then what you'll see I do after I, after I get this in place. There you go, there's one side. And ideally, I would have been able to do the other. But it didn't work. So instead, I'm going to curl over. Because curling over is um, a lot easier to get, um, to get the structure to hold. Because you can pin into your top hair and all that. Um, so I'm just using a curling iron to curl then over. Um, a bigger barrel would even help more. And there you go, just doing like a backwards victory roll. Um, and then just pinning that into place. If you have your own bangs, just curl them under. Um, and you can potentially pin or spray to get the, um, the big bump going. Yeah, I take it down to do it again. Sometimes, you know, your hair just doesn't behave. It's hair, it does what it wants. <laughs> I'm just rolling it backwards over my fingers and then pinning to the back and, um, and bottom. And then the rest is really just a lot of neatening. Um, as you might have seen with some of my other videos, I am very finicky. So I neaten it a lot. I've got a lot of little fluffy loose ends. Um, so I try to spray those into place, make sure the pin structure is really tight and firm. 
I ended up kind of sitting with this hairstyle for a few hours. So um, I can testify that it's a pretty, pretty sturdy once you get it right. Um, but I did use a lot of, a lot of hairspray. And you can see I'm trying to bobby pin it so it'll, um, the bangs will weigh down a bit more like bangs. Um, Cause they're, you can see they're sitting much higher than I'd, I'd like to have them. That's all right. So there we go, that's what that looks like. And then all you need is a little added detail. The headband. And then I do a little bit more fussing because I'm never done. <laughs> and once that's finished, I'll give you a little 360. So uh, that's how you do Cinderella's ball gown hair. Thanks so much for watching. Please uh, feel free to make requests. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again.